for Southern Africa hosted a brainstorming workshop on the state of creative hubs in Southern Africa on April 11, 2017 at Moto Republic in Harare, Zimbabwe. The aim of the creative hub think tank, titled Room of Open Minds, was to inform Hivo Southern Africa's work with regional creative hubs in Southern Africa. And we're really glad, glad to be here this, this whole day and actually be interacting and thrashing out every subject matter around how hubs you know, relate with creatives. Um, we are really looking at the issues to do with free expression. We are looking at hubs as how, to, how they relate with, with young people. We are looking at issues to do with sustainability. We are looking at um, you know, the creative arts. We are looking at uh, how the Internet of Things comes into the mix. We are looking at issues to do with funding, issues to do with sustainability, programming, the, the full spectrum, so I could say, about, about hubs. And I think some of the emerging thoughts that have been really exciting, um, that have been coming out, is to find that our experiences are, are more or less the same. But the exciting part is that we are gathering as people who are all resident and working in, in Africa, and more particularly in Southern Africa. Creative hubbing is a worldwide trend and there are over 4,000 creative hubbing spaces worldwide with a growth of over 100% within one year. And creative hubs are super important in Southern Africa, particularly Africa is generous a continent because it's an opportunity for us to create homes for actual people to work from and, you, and also share experiences and share tools and share resources and stuff. So it's very, very important for hubs to exist because without hubs, the communities do not get better or and also entrepreneurs and creators do not get to meet each other because we tend to work in silos so hubs are an opportunity for us to really kind of create communities in our different environments and stuff and, and also an opportunity for people from different disciplines to meet each other and talk to each other and interact and work together and collaborate so it's very important for hubs to exist and also to be also find ways to be sustainable so because we have a lot of hubs that come in one minute and then they're gone and stuff so it's very important for hubs to also find very ingenious like our sustainable models and really and really survive and, and really are benefit the community that they're trying to build for yeah and so you realize that in terms of um, the background one of the key things that emerged is that we've actually always had hubs but we've just never called them what they were the objective of the room of open minds workshop were to share information on experiences challenges and establish key priorities for creative hubs for change makers in Malawi, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. To establish a holistic understanding as to the status of creative hubs in Malawi, South Africa, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. It was quite beneficial because we looked at a number of, of things that are of benefit regards how creative um, hubs uh, operate. Uh, we looked at civic engagement, we looked at sustainability of these um, hubs, we discussed and shared quite a lot of ideas. The discussions that we've been having here, all these networks, um, I've learned a lot of things that will be used at, at MHUB and even going beyond. We should be able to continue this conversation with the people from uh, different countries that were here. Um, actually, some of the things that we already doing in, in MHUB, we've managed to share with people here, and uh, we're sure that we'll continue this uh, conversation with them and make sure that uh, something should come out of this uh, network. Today's engagement was specifically that we got to meet different people from different hubs. So obviously Malawi, Zimbabwe, Zambia, um, and we were able to talk about various issues that concern us um, across the creative industries. So what I'm hoping for, or my expectation, is that somehow we will build a network that will support each other to build a l larger and wider creative um, network that really that any creative in the SADC region can tap into, whether it's through resources, uh, business link linkages, networking, events, um, even grants that are out there on offer, so that um, young people can actually ac access this as a free resource in itself. So everybody that's come here together would then go off into their, separate, uh, into their separate countries, but then come back together again to build something that will benefit their, own, their creative hubs in, within the SADAC region. You may find that um, one of the key things that what was emerging was getting people to pay for hubs. Not as easy in, 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 in Southern Africa, in many of the spaces that we are in, but we may find that partnerships may, may work better because people are a bit more comfortable working with perhaps corporates 
or working with other institutions that are not you know, necessarily your traditional um, supporters of hubs. And those are some of the ideas that we've been exploring around sustainability. I would put profit there. You put profit, right? Yeah. Makes sense? Uh, I think for me, business is about profit. If you're not after profit, then you have no, bus you have no business in business. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> disempowered, uh, they don't have money at all, but they have ideas. So how do we tap into those brilliant ideas that, that, that young people have, and at the same time making sure that the spaces that we run are, are sustainable, or they run like businesses? Uh, one of the things that they actually do is an exchange, um, where if a young person is put in a decision task, as a startup, they don't pay, they don't pay money, so they pay with whatever service, all right, that yeah. they, they skills share, or yeah. they actually pay with their skills, which is one of the interesting ways. I think that's ways. such a, that's such a, that's such a critical yeah. element that we should highlight in this, okay, in this yeah. workshop. Then. Yes. Yeah. Young people are very productive at, at this stage. And uh, they tend to have very brilliant ideas that if properly natured and properly uh, uh, tended to, they come up with uh, solutions that can be used in, in developing our countries. So we want to tap into this creativity and, and make use of it and even grow from it. And uh, actually, uh, looking at the statistics, there are a lot of young people in, in Southern Africa. Uh, if we tap from them, we will learn a lot of things and even uh, contribute more into the social economic development of our region. But we also took note of the fact that our kind of internet in Africa is, is different. I mean, our, the majority of our people are using internet from a mobile device. And the majority of our people are not necessarily getting the internet from, from a Wi-Fi spot. And so you may find that the kind of creative, um, if I may call it disruption, that you're looking for is not necessarily building the next Facebook. We may have people who may do that, but many of the things is solving are our own specific difficult and important problems. Applying the internet, but taking note that we actually use mobile devices, people use mobile payments, um, our level of access to certain things is completely different. And for me, I think one of the things that has been exciting is just to try and, and solve those problems around, you know, that actually affect us as, as Africans and Southern Africans in particular. You don't always have sight of what everyone else's role is, whereas hierarchy allows a lot more oversight as to what people are doing. And accountability, but it's also like, for me, my, the number one pain for me is reporting. Because <laughs> I'm reporting to a billion people and I'm just like, I actually just want to do the work now. <laughs> but um, with hierarchy, it's, it's almost over-reporting and over-accountability. So to me, I see benefits with each of them and I also see drawbacks with each of them. The summary of the Creative Hub Think Tank was captured in a communique that was issued by the Hub conveners at the end of the training workshop. The following key points were highlighted in the communique. Creative Hubs must promote safe, inclusive spaces for young change makers in the Southern African region. Creative Hubs in Southern Africa should provide an inclusive, welcoming and safe atmosphere for women. Creative hubs in Southern Africa must strive for sustainability through funding models that are contextual, realistic, self-funded, and not singularly dependent on donor funding. Creative hubs must harness the full potential of the internet to advance free expression, civic engagement, creative hearts, and entrepreneurship. The engagement of urban-based and rural-based hubs is of great importance for the advancement of free expression, civic engagement, the creative arts, and entrepreneurship. I think it's great that when we're actually talking about hubs, 
initially at Zivos, I think when we started, we were working more in the creative sector, supporting spaces like the book cafe, then the tech phenomena came in and we moved and we started working with tech, but separated from kind of creative sector to where we are now, where it's good to see friends working in the media, you know, working kind of in different spaces and we're all coming back and saying we're creating these collaborative spaces where we can bring different voices to actually work together.